Hello, my name is Betsy Gallery and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this online course, I will be teaching how to create sand cast garden mushrooms for mosaicing. I will take you through the process step by step for creating two different types of concrete mushrooms. The first mushroom will be a small mushroom and have a flat base so that you can put it on a shelf or in a patio or any flat surface. The second mushroom will have a rebar stake in it, allowing it to be planted in a garden or in a pot with soil. This mushroom will have a smooth cap so that it can be easily mosaiced if desired. I will give a short demo on how to begin to mosaic this mushroom. You will then be able to continue mosaicing your mushroom and grout it if desired. These mushrooms are a great way to decorate indoor or outdoor areas, and they make wonderful gifts. This online course is full of lots of useful information you can use to further your skills in creating sandcast concrete sculptures. Here in front of me are a few of the materials you will need to create each of these mushrooms. There is also a PDF you can download with all the tools, materials, and resources to begin the mushroom making. So let's get started. Betsy, thank you so much for coming and doing Mosaic Arts Online. I'm so excited to have you here to share all of this great information about how to sand cast uh, the garden mushrooms. And to get started, can you tell me how did you get started in mosaics? My first mosaic I made inspired by a friend. He had made this huge table out of big chunks of concrete or, and uh, marble that he had found at a dumpster. And it was wonderful. I wanted to make one. I went home and I tried to make one. It was a disaster because I made it on wood and I put it outside. And so the wood and the thin set, as I learned, are not compatible outside. And so the pieces eventually, after years, started to come off. So that was my first lesson. Then I realized I had to educate myself. I started looking around for places to learn. And lo and behold, in San Francisco, uh, the Society of American Mosaic Artists was having their very first conference. Great. So I went there. I went to their workshops. It was wonderful. Great. I learned some technical skills and came back, practiced them. And actually, I s wound up selling the piece that I first piece I ever made. Wow, that's yeah. pretty exciting. That's inspiring. Yeah. It was years later, but somebody liked it, and off it went. And then I decided I wanted to travel a little bit. I went to Italy and took some wonderful classes there on several occasions. Went to Cuernavaca, Mexico, and I got to tour factories in both of those places and saw how the materials were made. That's fantastic. So yeah. you've really got like a world kind of view of mosaics, not just here in the States and just learning online. You've really gone around the world to learn. Yeah, I've taken every class I can find anywhere online or in person or here or abroad. That's great. And so how did you become the aficionado on sandcast garden mushrooms and mosaicing them? Well, it was several years after I had really honed my skills in making flat mosaics, I decided I wanted some <clears throat> things in the garden, some sculptures, and I have a nice garden, and I thought mosaics would be perfect for mushrooms. And so I educated myself, I learned how to sand cast. It's a very easy process, the materials are very inexpensive, and so I could make all the mistakes I wanted, and pretty soon they started to come out really nice. That's great. That's a great way to decorate, like you said, your garden, make it yourself. And were you able to sell them as well? Yes, I made, I think, 24 mushrooms wow. over a period of time, and I've sold a good many of them. And, uh, for example, this one actually is a gift that I gave to someone that I borrowed back, mm -hmm. and this is... 24 karat gold and dichroic glass and she keeps it at her home inside this could be inside or outside because it's thin set on concrete but this was a gift do you feel it's necessary to seal any of your mushrooms after they have been mosaic 
No, because the grout is indoor, ex, ex, uh, outdoor oh. grout, so you don't need to seal it, no. All right, so if someone wants to make one of these mushrooms and they've never done it before, and they maybe don't want to go to the big box store and get a 60 pound bag, do you have other resources that you know of, of how people can get some concrete and sand? Well, if you know somebody or pass a construction site, uh, I'm sure that they would give you a small quantity of concrete for your first mushroom. Uh, it's extremely inexpensive material, so even if you wanted to buy a 60 pound bag and make a couple of mushrooms and you don't use it all, you could donate it. You could or... donate it or uh, just hang on to it for the next project. Great. And just give me one more thing. How? What inspires you to create them, especially the mosaic part? Like you have flowers on this one. You did the diacro. This has got this thing with the tip on the top. Like what inspires you to create the mosaic part once you've made the concrete cast? Well, I have a collection of various materials that I get at thrift shops, like broken ceramics. These three are made from broken ceramics that I accumulate and when it comes time to cover something with a, mush, a mosaic, I choose like colors that are compatible and just go for it. I also have covered mosaic mushrooms with um, trend tiles, these flat glass tiles or small tea. You can put anything on it you want. So you're going to give us a quick demo at the end of this uh, online course on how to start to mosaic on this 3D object just so people can have some confidence moving forward. We know the online course is about how to create the sand cast, but we wanted to give them the bonus of how to start to mosaic. So in the next section is going to be a PDF with all the materials that Betsy uses to create these sandcast mushrooms, and then we will get started.